If you have a senior doggy, this video is for you. I have Molly here. Say hi, Molly. Hi. Today, Molly and I are going to give you three tips and tricks on how to take care of your senior fur baby. There will be a part two of this video, so please subscribe so you know when I post my next one. Let's get started. Number one, treat puzzle. Molly loves sniffing and Molly loves eating food. So this treat puzzle comes in handy. I will show you the specific treats I give her later in this video, but to use this, you have to put the treats in all or some of these compartments. This moves right here. This one moves down, up. There are so many things you can do with this. Once you're done putting the treats in, you want to make sure all the compartments are closed so that they have to work harder to find the treat. Sometimes though, because Molly is older, I do leave it slightly open like this. That way it helps her nose, oh, it's right here, and then she can paw at it. Molly has all these, <laughs> and there are so many more available. But this one is my favorite one though, because it is much harder for her to do. This keeps her on her feet. It makes her think, she can figure out where the treats are by sniffing, and she has to figure out how to get the treats out. When I use any type of toy like this, I always put it on a flat surface. Number two, treat mat. I am super excited to share this one with you because Molly absolutely loves it. This is called a treat mat. It is just like the puzzle, but I mainly use this one as a scavenger hunt opportunity since she loves sniffing things. The puzzle makes her think about how to get the treat out. This mat is more for finding the treats using her sense of smell. It doesn't really challenge her ability to get the treats out because you just flip this up and down. This doesn't even have a cover on it. And this, it can easily just get the treat, right? But that's okay because it does make her use her nose. Put the treats under some of the tassels and in the little pockets. I give her the puzzle or the mat when I leave during the day if we aren't able to go outside due to weather or if she is awake and bored. When she's bored, you'll know she's bored because she stares at you, she's sitting up, she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> That's why we both love the puzzle and the mat so much. It keeps her mentally and physically active. If you turn up your volume right now, you'll be able to hear how much she's sniffing to get the treats out. It's also a very comfortable spot for her to sleep or lay on. Number three, pre and probiotic treats. I not only use these pre and probiotic treats for the puzzle and mat, but I also use them for giving medicine. They work very well with pills. This is what they look like. When I use these for her puzzle or her mat, I take one and I basically tear small pieces off, but they have to be big enough for her to smell. Then I put them inside the puzzle or inside the mat. If she has medicine that she needs to take twice a day, then I take one of these, I tear them in half, then I take one of the halves, and then I tear it again. I put the pill inside, put it on top like a little sandwich, and then I ball it up. And then she takes it. Come nighttime, or the next time she needs to take another pill, I do the same with the other half. Tear it in half, I put the pill on top, smush it, make it into a little ball, and then I give it to her. Sometimes I even put the treat that contains the pill inside the puzzle or the mat. I watch her, of course, to make sure she gets the pill, but it's a two for one kind of deal. She gets the treat, she gets the pill, and she gets exercise mentally and physically. It's a win-win. Please keep in mind that I am not a vet. Molly and I would just like to share with you what works for us, and we really hope it works for you and your fur baby as well. I will be sure to include links to all of the items today and from now on in the description below so that you can enjoy these too. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I am working on getting a communal board 
on YouTube so that you can ask your questions and then I can answer more effective and efficiently. But it says I cannot do that until I get more subscribers than I have now. So please subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell button so you know when I post my next video, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, that's a wrap.